So picking up where we left off, we now have our raw data downloaded. We have the NHD plus data and we have our GPX file. If we go ahead and take a look at this in ArcMap, let's see, I'm going to get rid of my results window and open up catalog, we can take a look in this same directory. We can see in the spatial data cellway demo directory, we can look in the staging folder and notice how we have the NHD plus folder but notice how staging isn't showing us anything related to that GPX file. This is because the GPX file is not natively recognized by ArcGIS Desktop. We need to use a tool to convert it. Now what we're going to do for our data preparation stage here is we're going to split this into two different videos. The first one's going to be the GPX data preparation. The second one's going to be preparing the NHD plus hydro lines. So with this one, we're going to start off working with the GPX file. To convert it, we need to use one of our ArcGIS Toolbox tools. So we'll expand Toolboxes, and then we'll take a look in System Toolboxes. The tool we're looking for is located in the Conversion Tools Toolbox, and it's the, in the From GPS Tool set. Notice how we have the GPX to Features tool. This is what we're going to be using. Double clicking on it opens up the tool and what we can do is then make our lives a little easier and click on show help. Notice how when we expand this show help it gives us a little more information about the tool. So in case you're trying to remember how to do this you can go ahead and use this side help. So we specify that we want to get the input GPX file and we'll go ahead and do it the easy way. We'll browse to it. Inside of our Cellway Demo folder, recall that we place this in our staging folder. There's our GPX file. We go ahead and say Open. It opens this up for us, and then what we do is we specify we want to save it in our Cellway Demo Geo database. It's guessing that we want to put it there, but we can also, if we want to browse, notice how we're already in the Cellway Demo Geo database, and I'll go ahead and give this the name. Since this is all of our points being brought in all at once, I'm going to call this the raw GPX file. So then I go ahead and say save. We're good to go, I hit OK, and this process is in the background. Down at the bottom we're going to have a small progress window, but further we can also check how this is doing by expanding our results, and notice where it says current session, we can expand this and see the progress of our GPX to features. It doesn't take very long to run, it's pretty straightforward. Notice how it's brought all these into our viewer window as just simply a bunch of dots. But that's not all it brought. It brought the positions, but there's also some other information stored in the attribute table to go along with it. We'll go ahead and dock our attribute table down at the bottom here so we can get a little better look at it. Taking a look at this, the field that we want to pay, or excuse me, the part of this attribute table that we want to pay attention to is the description field. The description field tells us what each one of these points is. Notice how the mile markers are all delineated by a mile name. Notice how the description field also shows the camps with the word camp, as well as the rapids with the word rapid. We can use those to extract out each one of these unique features into their own unique distinct feature class. And then we'll save that in our Cellway Demo Geo database. So what we're going to do, we're going to first go to Selection, Select by Attributes, and within Select by Attributes we're going to create an SQL query using a wildcard to identify these. So we're interested in the description field. We'll double click on it. We're going to say the description is like, and then if we look at the unique values, notice how each one of them is surrounded by single quotes. We're going to follow that convention. So we're going to go in here and put in like and then we're going to use the wildcard. So it's going to be like anything that starts with the word mile and then use the wildcard to say anything else after that. Don't forget to close it with a single quote. Then we can go ahead and just to check we'll verify it. Thankfully I didn't fat finger in anything. So now we can go ahead and say OK. Notice how we now have 48 out of our 158 total GPX points selected. We've selected our mile markers. We're now going to right click and say we, with the data we want to export this data out 
and we're going to say just our selected features and we're also going to say we want it in the coordinate system as the layer's source data. This data all came in the using the data the data spatial reference of World Geographic System of 1984 because it was collected using a GPS receiver. And taking a look at this, we're going to say that that's okay. Now we're going to specify where we're going to put this. We're going to put it in the Selway Demo Geo database. We're going to put it right next to the raw GPX file, but we're going to give this one a slightly different name. It's the mile markers, so that's what we're going to call it. So now we've exported out the mile markers, and we'll go ahead and add those to the map. Notice how it's been added to our map as a layer. The features have all been added in there. We can see that if we turn off our raw GPX. There's our mile markers. And then further, if we look over in our geo database, there's our mile markers feature class. Now we're going to do the same thing for our camps and rapids. Again, select by attributes. Most of our SQL query is still there. So now we're just going to go wildcard camp. Again, we'll verify it. And then we'll go ahead and apply that. Notice how 23 out of our 108 fe 158 features are now selected. So then what we're going to do is again from our raw GPX, we'll go to data, export, selected features, layers source data coordinate system, and let's give it a relevant name. This is our camps. So this is our camp feature class. We export that one out. Same thing layer, feature class, we're good to go. We go ahead and do our next one. Select by attributes. From raw GPX, we'll create a new selection. Description is like, now we're interested in rapids, so we'll go ahead and say rapid. We go ahead and say OK. Now we've selected, notice, 23 features out of our 158, where all of our rapids happen to be located raw GPX, data, export data. Let's go ahead and give it a name. This one is going to be rapid. Now here we are. We have all of our feature classes created. And in fact now we can even go so far as to remove our G raw GPX feature class out of there. So now notice what we've managed to do. We have created camps, mile markers, and rapids in their own feature class, and they even have their own associated layer. So if I uncheck mile markers and camps, now all we're showing is the rapids on our map. Or we could just display the camps, or we can just display the mile markers. Right now their symbols aren't all that different, but in the next step we'll go ahead and work on the symbology so the camps are, and rapids and mile markers are much more easy to discern from each other.